you turn your attention to the International Red and White Show, Judge Lundy has completed his placings in our junior two-year-old cow class. Second junior in the class is entry 3558, Savage Lee, Awesome Red, exhibited by Chase Savage and Moxley Ford of Union Bridge, Maryland. Placing third in the class is entry 3563, Maple Edge Calendar Girl Red, exhibited by Yvonne Prater of Plymouth, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry 3565. She also is our first junior. She wins the Bread and Owned Award and was also named Best Utter, Milk Source, Awesome Time Red, exhibited by Tristan Ostrom of Kokona, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry 3559, Apple Partners, Cranapple Red, exhibited by Travis and Megan Schaefer and Colt Ganados Genetics of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Pat, your thoughts on this class? Well, another tremendous class all the way down the line here. Starting with a cow that just really grabs you from across the ring. She's so dairy, so feminine, has so much uh, breed character about her. Uh, for us, that's what takes over our second place cow, her side profile, her run to her front end, her balance all the way through. Second place cow, tremendous mammary system, a cow that will wear the best stutter in class here today. A cow maybe not handling quite like you'd like to see her here today, but a tremendous, tremendous mammary system. A cow for us uh, goes over our third place cow on that mammary system. A cow with more height and width and bloom to her rear udder here today. A cow a little wider in her chest floor here than our third place cow. Third over fourth, a big advantage today, just so much more quality to her rear udder. Taking nothing away from our fourth place cow, a real square frame balanced cow, a cow we really, really liked across the ring. Just getting her in line, just losing way too much quality to her rear udder to go any higher today. But does use her squareness, her balance, her drop and drape to her midsection here to go above the real uh, long frame cow here in fifth. Fifth place cow, a cow milking a long time, nine, ten months or so. A cow we give the advantage today, a little stronger, a little wider through her front end here, a cow more level on her other floor than the frame he cow coming in six. But tremendous class. Congratulations. If you're marking your catalogs with us, there were nine junior two-year-olds in the International Red and White Show. Entry 3559 was our winning entry. Apple Partners Cranapple Red, exhibited by Travis and Megan Schaefer and Cole Ganados Genetics of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Entry 3565 was second in the class, first junior. She won the Junior Bread and Owned Award, the Bread and Owned Award, and was named Best Utter. Milk Source, Awesome Time Red, exhibited by Tristan Ostrom of Kokana, Wisconsin. Entry 60, excuse me, 3563, placed third in the class. Maple Edge Calendar Girl Red, exhibited by Yvonne Prater of Plymouth, Wisconsin. Entry 3556 was fourth. 3558 was fifth in the class. And our second junior, Savage Lee Awesome Red, exhibited by Chase Savage and Moxley Ford of Union Bridge, Maryland. Entry 3560 was sixth. 35.55 placed 7th, 35.54 was 8th in the Judge Ryan has completed his placings in the junior 3-year-old class, which was also the Railbird class. Our first place junior is entry 22.98, excuse me, 22.92 Klein's Affairs Andrea, exhibited by Bryce Klein from Milton, Indiana. Our third place class winner is Sunny Acres TSB Pros, exhibited by Gregory Evans and Eric and Taylor Bogardis from Georgetown, New York. 
Our third place, excuse me, second place winner is entry 2294, and that is Hawcrest Adventure, exhibited by Glamour View Farm from Walkersville, Maryland. Our best bread known is 2291 Elite HP Masterpiece, exhibited by Peter Vale from Inglewood, Florida. And our class winner is 2298, that is also the production award winner and the best utter, Margot Precious, exhibited by Kurt Wolf and Mike Meyer from Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Uh, just an outstanding group of cows here. And with that being said, uh, two cows that have really come to the top quite handily. This first cow, uh, not always handling the best, but when she does, she just, uh, for us, wins the class pretty easily. She's a quality cow. She's dairy, she's angular all the way through. A cow that travels on a beautiful set of feet and legs. And she just has the advantage over the cow here following in second. She's longer and leaner, longer and cleaner through the four-order attachment. You get behind her. She's just a leveler on the other floor today. And she steps down on a stronger pastern today. But certainly the second cow keeps it a close placing as her frame just overwhelms you. You love the height to the top of her chine. She's got that beautiful uphill run, a tremendous rump cow. And she just has the advantage over this big rear udder cow that follows in third. Just so much more midsection all the way through. She blends a little nicer once again behind the point of the shoulder. Just so much more cow power than this tremendous, tremendous rear udder cow that follows in third. Third over four, she just used that advantage in her mammary system. She's got the best rear udder in the class. And she has so much more fullness at the top of the rear udder than the cows follow in the fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth, very, very similar cows. We made a late stitch, but to this fourth cow here, just so much more width through the floor of her chest, so much more drop to the rib today, especially the rear rib when you get out on the side of them. But this fifth cow, she's another high style cow. She's dairy, she's angular all the way through. And for us, just has the advantage in her teeth placement today. You'll love the style once again on this cow in six, but the fifth one just has them front teats tucked more squarely beneath her. But taking nothing away once again from that cow in six, She's another tremendous frame cow to go well with this class. Congratulations.